Nhật Bản à, Anh ta là người quốc tịch Singapore Anh ta đến Việt Nam và nhờ tôi dịch một cái văn bản cam kết tài sản chung riêng vợ chồng à, Thú thật thì trong cái quá trình anh hỏi về luật trong đó có luật hôn nhân và gia đình à, Thật sự rất là khó để mà trả lời anh về luật hôn nhân và gia đình à, Thì chúng ta biết rằng đại bộ phận ở người luật sư Việt Nam Cái khả năng nói tiếng Anh rất là hạn chế à, Và bản thân tôi thì cũng như vậy à, Thôi thì một chút Và cuối cùng thì tôi cũng quyết định tìm cái nguồn luật về tiếng Anh và đưa đến cho quý vị và các bạn à, Dĩ nhiên nếu như quý vị và các bạn nào không biết tiếng Anh thì chúng ta có thể xem những cái à, tiếng Việt của luật sư các bạn nhé à, Đây cũng là một cái hướng dẫn tuyên truyền pháp luật à, của à, chương trình Dân ta phải biết luật ta à, gửi đến quý vị và các bạn à, Hy vọng rằng chúng ta sẽ ra một cái sân chơi quốc tế Hi everybody, my name to I'm a lawyer in Vietnam. You know, uh, one day uh, I have one a pupil. He he um uh, Singapore. Uh, he asked me uh, a lot of question about the marriage uh, of law in Vietnam. But you know, I'm um, I can't answer him on all them so that you know I think the most of Vietnamese can the lawyer in Vietnamese can uh, speak Vietnamese but uh, um, a little uh, I think a uh, 15% can speak fluency about English or another um, so that I try the best to search in the uh, internet. I I give you about the 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 law on marriage and family in Vietnam, uh, 2014. Uh, you know the the law on marriage and uh, and family in Vietnam tell about the getting married and a relationship between husband and wife a termination of marriage a relationship between parents and children and so on I think I uh, I separate uh, part one, part two, part three uh, to have um, people about the Vietnamese Vietnam uh, marriage uh, if you have a question uh, I um, try the best yeah I think it's uh, hardly to uh, to say uh, because um, my my English is not fluency so that I try the best thank you article 10 persons having the right to request annulment of illegal marriage. 1. A person who is forced or deceived into a marriage has, as prescribed by the civil procedure law, the right to request by himself, herself, or propose a person or an organization prescribed in clause 2 of this article to request, a court to annul his, her illegal marriage due to violation of point B, clause 1, article 8 of this law. Two. The following persons, agencies and organizations have, as prescribed by the civil procedure law, the right to request a court to annul an illegal marriage due to violation of point A, C or D, Clause 1, Article 8 of this law. A slash the spouse of a married person who gets married to another person, parent, child, guardian or another at law representative of a person who gets married illegally b slash the state management agency in charge of families c slash the state management agency in charge of children d slash the women's union 3. when detecting an illegal marriage other persons agencies or organizations have the right to propose an agency or organization prescribed at point b 
C, or D, Clause 2 of this article to request a court to annul such marriage. Article 11. Handling of Illegal Marriage. 1. A court shall handle illegal marriage in accordance with this law and the civil procedure law. 2. In case at the time of a court a settlement of a request for annulment of an illegal marriage, both partners fully satisfy the marriage conditions prescribed in Article 8 of this law and request recognition of their marriage relation, the court shall recognize that relation. In this case, the marriage relation shall be established from the time both partners fully satisfy the marriage conditions as prescribed by this law. 3. A court has decision annulling an illegal marriage or recognizing a marriage relation shall be sent to the agency having registered that marriage for recording in the civil status register, to the two partners of the illegal marriage, and to related persons, agencies and organizations as prescribed by the civil procedure law. 4. The Supreme People's Court shall assume the prime responsibility for and coordinate with the Supreme People's Procuracy and the Ministry of Justice in, guiding this article. Article 12. Legal Consequences of the Annulment of Illegal Marriage 1. When an illegal marriage is annulled, the two partners of such marriage shall stop their husband and wife relation. 2. The rights and obligations of parents and children shall be settled according to provisions on rights and obligations of parents and children upon divorce. 3. Property relations, obligations and contracts between the parties shall be settled according to Article 16 of this law. Article 13. Handling of Ultraviaries Marriage Registration For a marriage which is registered ultraviaries, a competent state agency shall, upon request, withdraw and cancel the marriage certificate in accordance with the civil status law and request two partners to re-register their marriage with a competent state agency. In this case, the marriage relation shall be established on the date of the previous marriage registration. Article 14. Settlement of Consequences of Men and Women Cohabiting as Husband and Wife Without Marriage Registration. 1. A man and woman eligible for getting married under this law who cohabit as husband and wife without registering their marriage have no rights and obligations between husband and wife. Rights and obligations toward their children, property, obligations and contracts between the partners must comply with Articles 15 and 16 of this law. 2. For a man and woman who cohabit as husband and wife under Clause 1 of this article and later register their marriage in accordance with law, their marriage relation shall be established from the time of marriage registration. Article 15. Rights and Obligations of Parents and Children for Men and Women Cohabiting as Husband and Wife Without Marriage Registration Rights and obligations between a man and woman cohabiting as husband and wife and their children must comply this law's provisions on rights and obligations of parents and children. Article 16. Settlement of property relations and obligations and contracts between men and women cohabiting as husband and wife without marriage registration. 1. Property relations obligations and contracts between a man and woman cohabiting as husband and wife without marriage registration shall be settled under the partner's agreement. In case there is no agreement, they shall be settled in accordance with the civil code and other relevant laws. 2. The settlement of property relations must ensure lawful rights and interests of women and children. Housework and other related work to maintain the cohabitation shall be regarded as income-generating labor. Chapter 3. Relationship between Husband and Wife. Section 1. Personal Rights and Obligations. Article 17. Equality in Rights and Obligations between Husband and Wife. Husband and wife are equal having equal rights and obligations in all family affairs and in the performance of citizens' rights and obligations prescribed in the Constitution, this law and relevant laws. Article 18. Protection of Personal Rights and Obligations of Husband and Wife Personal Rights and Obligations of Husband and Wife prescribed in this law, the Civil Code and other relevant laws shall be respected and protected. Article 19. 
Husband and Wife Attachment 1. Husband and wife have the obligations to love, be faithful to, respect, attend to, care for, and help each other and share family work. 2. Unless otherwise agreed by them or due to requirements of their occupations, work or study, or participation in political, economic, cultural or social activities or for another plausible reason, husband and wife have the obligation to live together. Article 20. Selection of Domicile of Husband and Wife The domicile of husband and wife shall be selected as agreed by themselves without being bound by customs, practices or administrative boundaries. Mm -hmm.